Welcome back to Timber Borners. Last time we left on a cliffhanger, the beaver colony nearly died, but now I have gotten over it. So I'm plugging the Santa Paddy. Order now for delivery before Christmas. Yes, I know it's only September, but you can only order these whilst the campaign is live and it has to close in time for the plushies to get made and then shipped, which takes ages. That's why the campaign is live now. <gasps> yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to the Timber Borners. Now, last time, disaster struck. The drought hit us. We finally ran out of water. We've got no water up here, so all these plants are dying. You can see we've got no water storage. I mean, you can see our beavers are very dehydrated. Uh, Thankfully, I did manage to flush the water down to this area where we do have three log pumpers, which are just about keeping our water reserves in the positive. And there's only 0.8 days remaining of the drought. So hopefully water will be coming down this waterfall once again. Um, and I guess in the meantime, I should get this dam rebuilt because remember, I, I destroyed that to temporarily get the water down there. So landscaping, grab a dam piece, shove it there. Oh no, look, the water, the water, no. Now we're literally screwed. We got 0. 0.7 days. Oh, all of our crops are dying now. Great. All the trees as well. Oh no. I can survive this, right? I got 20 water. Uh, can I survive this? I'm not, I'm not sure actually. Let's pause all those. I'll tell you what, actually, I think think if I reduce working hours, does that use less water? I'm not actually sure if it does. But anyway, I've given everyone the day off. It could be their last day on Earth or whatever we call this place. Their last day on one. So I guess let's just see how they how they choose to spend their time. Lots of people in the pub. Love to see that. There's even a kid. Is he, oh, he's just left. Baby John Holder. He, he had enough of the pub. Fair enough. Um, didn't we get like... Yeah, up here, look. You got the campfire. There's, there's no fire there. Why haven't you built a fire? Who's that? Engitech Wolfgar, Swiss Web, and Joseph Wins. Why, why haven't you Set a fire up, guys. Anyway, I probably should have kept the jobs going, to be fair, just to, like, get the last of this food before it all dies. But yeah, literally, there's nothing... I mean, a lot of people are just spending their last remaining days on this planet, or last remaining hours, just stood in fields looking very, very low. <laughs> and sadly, it does mean the Wheel of Shame is now empty. But the good news is the sun is setting. So I'm going to wang the working hours back up. Should they last till tomorrow morning? Uh, because the water will be returning. Now, we, we are literally out of water. Every one is thirsty. Actually, how thirsty are they? If I just click on a random one, Jonas Swanson. Oh, it's not that thirsty. So for now, I think beavers are all right. So we should have time. Let's just make sure this dam is lowered. Yeah, look, we can raise and lower it. We want that lowered because we want the water to flow all the way through. Although, do I? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's better to get drinking water out of these guys, which means, yeah, I might do that first, actually. Let's just raise that up to there. 1.5 height. So then that will fill this area. I can then unpause these four log pumpers and they can bring water back to the colony. Right. Let's fast forward through the night and we'll see what happens in the morning. So the sun has risen. Everyone is waking up from the sleeping barracks. Uh, the drought has ended, which means over here, if I speed up time, there it goes. Come on, water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fall off the edge. Okay. We have water. We do have water. So the question is, is, is it worth filling this up first? How fast is it? Oh, it's going up really quick. It is going up really quick, to be fair. So you can see the beavers, they are well prepared to pump their wood. So who have we got in here? We've got Kira. We've got Brahma Nation. We've got Cole Knight. And we have Moth. These guys are going to work their wood until the colony is satisfied. <laughs> So you wrong. Um, ooh, ooh. The trouble is, though, looking at the working hours, when this line gets to there, that's when everyone goes home. So, oh, here, no, it's okay. It's okay. The water is about to overtop. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. The first log pumper is going. And now the second and the third and the fourth. Look at that. Synchronized log pumping. Okay. So that is good. Um, what isn't good down here is still like, well, it's still absolute death. Like, look at this. Look at this place. Not good. So we just need the water to overtop this dam. You can see it's got a little bit of a way to go. I mean, to be fair, I probably could just give it, if I just lower the water, just let a bit out. I don't want to let too much out because we got to keep pumping water. But yeah, we'll put that back up and you'll see, although it is it's turning night now. Cheers, night cycles and games. But hopefully you can see as this comes down, it's bringing life back to the area. Although I didn't get very far. I forgot I put that, I put the damn piece back in. So this bottom area still requires water, but still rest of it looking 
good. And look, everyone's coming over for a drink. It's very, very crowded over here. I think what I need to focus on, like, before the next dry season, upping my water storage. Because we've got all of these little storages dotted about. But I think it's probably worth, if we head into storage down here, unlocking, like, the medium tank. Or maybe the large tank. That holds 1,200 water compared to just 30 in a small tank. It takes 80 planks. We have 132. It takes 60 gears. We've only got 50, so I need 10 more gears. And then 30 metal blocks. We've got 17. If you remember last time, we built this, which, yes, looks like a train. Yeah, but this actually smelts scrap metal into metal blocks. So we should get those pretty soon. Uh, did I build my hauling post in the end? Yes, yes, it's down here. Okay, that's good. Oh, and what's also good, the water has come down here as well. Let's unpause these log pumpers as well, because we need to get that water back up. Um, and since we have water down there, let's start raising these floodgates as well. I think if I go to three. Yeah, three will flood everything. So it's got to go to 2.5. Cool. Okay, I think we're back. Finally, uh, let's unpause the gear workshop. I'm going to have to... Oh, I'm going to have to up the priority. Dylan Blocker, get in there, son. We need 10 gears stat. I can probably pause the planks. Yeah, you guys, I think we'll just pause you for now. All right. Oh, the final thing, I need science, don't I? I may have to... Yeah, since scientist Nate is gone, we don't have like a consistent scientist. So I might have to up the priority. I basically just put everything on high priority now. But we got to get up to 600 science so we can store the large amount of water. And, oh, no, what the? There's too much water down. We flooded down here. Oh, it's okay. Is it okay? So much water came down. But yeah, I think for now, we've sort of recovered. Sort of. That was very close to actual disaster. I need to make sure this doesn't happen again because that wasn't even the longest dry season you can get. I think they got up to 30 days in hard mode. To be fair, though, I think it was all triggered by this building here. And I remember last time I tried to get my food all stacked up. So I think we're growing algae. We're growing mushrooms as well. But you can see here, they take a lot of water. And I think basically I did this too early. I should have just carried on with my normal farming. I was trying to save like the old area. Oh, did you see that beaver? Who's that? Vespian just outrunning the flood down it. Why does, why does it keep flooding down here? Pump harder. Pump harder. <laughs> One minute you don't have enough water. Then you have too much water. Man, the life of an engineering beaver is hardcore. Right. Well, anyway, looks like for now there's no drought in sight and the water levels are finally going back up. We're, we're up to 100 water, triple digits. Oh yeah, look, the farmers, the farmers are finally replacing all the dead crops. So that's good as well. I'm hoping if I if I just don't turn on these for a while, at least until I've got loads of water stored, then we should be able to survive like a longer sort of dry season. But yeah, for now, we're just trying to get those gears up. Come on, Dylan Blocker. Once we're up to 60, I can pause the gear workshop. And then, oh, to be fair, look, these farmers, let's lower the priority of that. They've finished farming. They're just waiting for stuff to grow now. So that's two more jobs we now have. Uh, food. Oh, Oh, no, food's... Ah, food, food. Okay, someone go pick berries. High priority. Someone go pick berries over here. High priority. Oh, no, there's a drought in three days. No, game. This is not the right time to be doing this to me. Oh, no. Oh, the good news, though. Look, look. We have beavers picking fruit and veg. Kohlrabi. I assume kohlrabi is probably a veg. It's not something I'm familiar with. How's the science looking? Oh, we're only like, we're only halfway there on the science. I don't think we're going to science in time. So the question is, do I just go for medium tanks for now? I can afford three. They're only 300 capacity. Oh, I want the large tank so badly. Oh, we got 60 gears. We got 60 gears. Right, pause the gear workshop. Don't need it. Oh, I can, I can pause all this. Although actually, no, maybe, maybe I can turn on the fermenter again. I uh, might change the recipe from soybeans because I think we're out of soybeans. We'll do cassavas. It's up here. Yeah, look, we got 98 cassavas. So we'll get them on the go. The canola oil plant, it's quite a few days off. So we've only got this tiny bit of oil here. And someone actually mentioned to me, there's, yeah, look, there's a gap right by the oil press. I should probably put a small tank in there and fill that with canola oil. Yeah, in the meantime, oh, it's another night. It's another evening. It's another morning already. We've only got 300 water. We're not even at capacity yet. I've been pumping all the time. Oh, we might actually be in trouble here. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually stressed out a bit. We've just had two deaths from old age as well. Good news is 
food is back on the menu. So beavers are now hungry. No, they're not. What's the opposite of hungry? They're now satisfied. I, I don't know. You know what I mean, though? <laughs> I don't have time to think about words. I'm panicking. There's a drought happening in 0.6 days. There's already thirsty. But why are you thirsty? James Derrick, why are you thirsty, man? Right, who's the... We've only got one builder and they're called B. B the builder. Thankfully, yeah, they are building the small tank for oil. Although we're not going to get oil anytime soon. Um, I don't know what to prioritize anymore. <laughs> Wait, why is there not any log pumping going? What's going on? Oh, I think they're all carrying water away. I need to get I need to get more beavers so that I can get more haulers. Because yeah, at the moment I have no haulers, which means all my log pumpers, they're having to move water to storage themselves. That takes time. We don't have time. So yeah, potentially another breeding pod required. What's our colony site? We're up to, to like 30 beavers. Trouble is these use water as well. Everything uses blooming water. Yeah, right. With that oil storage built, I've just put B as a farmer over here. They're going to be prioritizing harvesting. Oh, look, we do have loads of canola seeds. We've got 50 canola seeds. Oh, we can make oil. Let's get the oil press on the goat. Up the priority of that. Just up the priority of everything. It's how we roll. Because then we should store it in our new oil tank behind. Sweet. Uh, what isn't sweet? It's now It's now nighttime. Beavers are enjoying their last camp. Justin Smith, he doesn't know what's about to happen. A drought. Let's hope it's not a long boy. I can't deal with a long drought right now. So we'll just fast forward through the night and then as the sun rises. Oh, it's a 12 day drought. I don't think that's too bad. What I'm going to do though, straight away I'm going to pause these four log pumpers because this this is our storage. We sort of need this now. I think I'm happy to leave log pumpers down here getting us water. But I think I'm going to pause those ones just so I can let water through as and when. Because my aim's got to be try and keep this area green. Oh, I can also, I can pause. Do we have, oh, none of these wheel of shames. They're all wheels of honor. Okay, let's pause wheel of honor because we don't actually need that much power. We just need 50 HP for the oil press. For the fermenter, also 50 HP. I think each beaver produces, yeah, just over 50. So they're working at capacity. That's good. We got an extra beaver. Now look up here. We're just about to make the final metal block we need. So good work, team of five beavers making those. Uh, we just need the science now. So come on, guys. Science hard. We need 600 science for that large water tank. I put a load of beavers in the hauling post as well. Maybe that will help us somehow. All right, look at the farmers. They are digging up the cassavas. And then I think it's probably okay if this bottom area does dry out. I think it will affect up here, but maybe that's fine. I can't remember like how big, if this dries out, how big the like brown air. Oh, there you go. It's dried out now. Unfortunately, damn night cycles. I can't see anything. So we'll wait till the morning and then, oh, is that confirmed? That upper level's fine. Yeah, I think it's serviced by that water. Okay, that's decent. That's really good news. Um, oh, I need to pause these three log pumpers. So we're now at the point we're not we're not onboarding any more water. This number up here, 324, that's going to be dropping constantly. The only way we can increase that is by turning on these four log pumpers. Uh, but as I said before, I want to store this water and let it let it down there so we keep our farms green. At least until we have enough water to get this skyscraper on the go. This is our food skyscraper, remember? Uh, uh, perhaps as well, should I look at trying to add more log pumpers somewhere? Because to me, it seems like I, I don't have enough, basically. I mean, what I could potentially do, create a new sort of uber mega dam. I could increase this storage. Like, I'd have to build a wall in front of these log pumpers, because otherwise, well, otherwise they would get flooded. We don't want that. So let me have a think. If I were to do that, and maybe that. So I've added two levels to this. Oh, don't I have, I think it's a mod, but whatever. I'll use a mod if I need to. Yeah, these tunnels. A tunnel through levee. Oh, it's a thousand science, man. <laughs> a thousand. Okay, I can't afford that right now. I think I have a plan for up here, though. I'm just I'm just literally going to build like a separate dam or separate reservoir behind this one. I think it will work. I think, oh, no. Bob the engineer died of old age. Poor Bob. Anyway, oh, look, we have the science now to finally, if we head into storage, unlock the large tank. Let's do it. Oh, look how big that is. That is a big old boy. Okay, we're going to shove that. Going to shove it there. Do we have builders still? Yeah, Chevy straight pipe. They started building the dam, but no, 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 no. I want you over here. This has priority. We're going to fill it with water. 1,200 water. That will be good. I think then I may I get some triple platforms. I'm just thinking I could put like, if I just do groups of four, I can get four log pumpers on there. And I think oh, I may need to move those stairs. I think, yeah, I can shove them yeah, I can shove them like that. Look how long their straws are. Okay, what? Well, let's shove another one there as well. I think this is what I'm going to do. That will actually be genius because then I can just 
path along this edge and then just shove steps there and there and then we can get to all that decent oh then maybe i could put like another big water storage up there with that fit. oh it does fit it does fit i'm gonna do that i'm gonna low prioritize that storage but that to me seems like a plan now why are there so many people why aren't you doing anything you're meant to be cutting trees aren't you why aren't you cutting trees is there no log storage where do we store logs are oh, under there oh the log storage is full okay we've got too many logs okay well i guess then i can pause you i can pause the forester that goes with it then maybe everyone else can just be let's get some builders in because we want to get that large tank in and then we also want to get this well all of this mess in and in order to do the rest i do need to keep planning this so i think i'm gonna have to dig up all those very i mean i don't have to do all of them but i would do all of them just make it neat and then sort of work out where my new dam's going my taller dam you're yeah, right things are going okay we've got six days remaining we've got loads of food we've got oh oh not much water hang on water's getting a bit low down there as well i think let's turn on two log pumpers and then let's let some water out downstream as well there we go look at the level downstream going up that is good that is how we engineered this place oh we even got some water down here lovely see what may as well turn one of those on lawful wilderness has gone in there just a cheeky little pump of the log we actually may as well use this to my advantage illa get in there mark omu you know what to do oh it's night time it's night time and everyone knows you can't pump your log through the night you might get a splinter all right by the way check out this little guy baby railway technician do we think we'll have a railway in this series i mean it was a mod and it was a painful mod <laughs> uh, do we need a railway i mean look how small this map is i don't know could be a challenge i think for now though let's just focus on actually surviving oh 69 water nice um oh over here look i think we've run out of the canola seeds so we'll pause that we're no longer fermenting anything if i do soybeans oh yeah soybeans back on the menu that's good yeah i can pause one of these shaming i mean honor wheels so who's in the last one it's it's brad and then oh look at that oh the size of that storage is beautiful. Oh, and it's, it's filling up with water already. So yeah, oh, unfortunately, those three are now done. So cheers for your work, guys. We'll keep pumping up here. We've got, yeah, we've got a bit of depth. But yeah, looks like water saved. Four days left of the drought. I think we've actually, we've actually survived this drought. That's on the back for Matt. That is all I've got to say. All right, meanwhile, over here, look, they, the beavers, they've gone to work building this. Fair play. They are actually getting somewhere pretty fast. I should probably, like, semi-high prioritize the stuff stairs just so everything else is easier to make but yeah oh they ripped up all of these so that is good we can get our levy pieces and then start building how we want to build so i'm thinking if we go from here we can slightly tweak the path so that it goes that way so then we can have our gap in the in the wall there and then if we head this way i'm gonna need triple floodgates so they're gonna have to go on top of levees in order to make this work so if i do that sort of thing with triple floodgates on there then i can just continue the wall like over that way like that yeah that seems good that seems good to me so that's gonna be our new mega structure yeah though i do need a thousand science just to get the the holes in the in the levee but yeah, that seems decent. Uh, for now, though, as the sun rises, the water should fall. Because look, the drought has ended. Yes, there it is. Okay, we're good. We're actually good. We survived reasonably easily, in my opinion. Yeah, right. Let's get these log pumpers unpaused. Let's let some water out a little bit. And then we'll get these three unpaused as well. We're back into log pumping mode. Just how I like it. Right, and for now, are we... I think we're nearly out of scrap metal blocks. So I'm going to pause all five of these. You guys have worked tremendously. We got 40. 47 metal blocks but uh for now i think it's time let's get let's get the gears back on the go let's get planks back on the go get our wood industrial area up and running i should have i was gonna say i should have a full house of haulers but i've only got one kayla barber maybe i need another breeding pod i think three gets us to about 30 beavers like we're on 35 at the moment i mean it is still going up there yes there are beavers dying of old age but there's also new ones being born all the time yeah I'll tell you what let's gamble let's get another one in we just made sure we pick these berries so we have enough not just food but also enough berries for the breeding pods but yeah ideally i want to get these up and running as quick as possible because yeah, they're going to allow us to pump more water so actually i might prioritize these back ones because i can get these going but they go straight into the main stream so yeah tell you what high prioritize tool let's get this stuff prioritized there we go because then we have we have more water and we can we can 
Hopefully, I mean, look at it. Look at this. It's filling up already. 400 water in there. Beautiful. But yeah, everything's looking good. So I might just time lapse this little area and we'll see how fast they get built. Ideally, before the next drought hits us, we'll have four more log pumpers and the colony will be saved. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, it's now the last evening before the drought is happening and we haven't got a single log pumper in. Not ideal. I guess the trouble is I, I, I went with the carrot rather than the stick. I was like, I'll try and be nice to the beavers. See how it worked. Should have learned from my editors. Uh, beating them into submission to do work is always the best bet. Anyway, I need to I need to pause those four like before. Leave the bottom three pumping. Uh, we are running out of logs now, so I may unpause that job. Good news is check out the water tank. There is a lot of water in there. And yeah, look, we've got a thousand saved up. So although this is the longest drought we've ever seen, 19 days, I think we should be fine. Uh, but if you want to know, you're going to have to wait till next time because I'm going to say peace, love, and I think I pulled that one out my bum. We started in trouble, but we're now in a good place. Bye, guys!